Well, first and foremost, the good news is that we will be recruiting a net additional uh, 450 primary school teachers in addition to, and that's the net amount, those will be replacements for the existing posts, so there'll actually be more recruited. A lot of people are, you, you rightly say, opting with a primary degree to do a conversion course. Uh, there's a massive demand for teachers uh, in Britain uh, with a very similar education system, and there's a substantial demand for teachers in other parts of the, of, of the world, um, the Middle East being a classic example. Um, we have to make sure that we're supplying sufficient spaces in our teacher training colleges to provide for the Irish market. Uh, we've no control over private providers. Mm -hmm. um, and some people have suggested, well, I should close down the conversion courses, which are funded by the state. But in, in a way, if somebody has a primary degree and they want to then become a primary school teacher for their own purposes, to a certain extent they're entitled to do that. Um, but we have to keep it under review. Uh, and there are talks, it was part and parcel of a report that I commissioned last year that recommended that the 19 colleges of education, uh, both for primary school teachers and for secondary school teachers, should in fact be clustered into six groups and that there should be uh, an extension in the training period from three years to four years for primary school teachers and from one year to two years for second level teachers and that there will be a focus on educational skills, pedagogic skills and, and concentrate on much better classroom experience before qualification because all of the research shows that good teachers are critical to, to good outcomes, more so than any other factor, whether it's good buildings or pupil-teacher ratio or a large electronic support system of, of high tech. Uh, and Irish teachers come from the top 15% of leaving certificate uh, qualifi qualifiers. Uh, I recently presided over a conference of education ministers during Ireland's presidency of the European Union. And the story coming from many education ministers was that teaching was not a well-regarded profession, it wasn't well paid, it wasn't respected, it was consequently not attracting into the education space bright young people. Um, teachers were leaving schools because working conditions were not very good. Britain across the water, England in particular, it has to pay a premium to keep teachers teaching in some areas that are very challenged. So we have a good system, I want to protect it and, and sustain it, and some of the issues around oversupply have to be looked at, but if somebody, by the same token, wants to do it and then um, take their chances abroad, that's that's something that has to be provided for as well. I think.